T Day. Just there we go. T Day coming in with that Dr. Mario. Ooh, this is gonna be a rough matchup for Dr. Mario. You know, like his recovery is actually garbage. I actually think it's worse than Max recovery. Just because like that that down B, like which you need to use in order to like get back enough height to like make it back with up B sometimes, like it, it's it's so laggy that anybody with a half decent aerial can like just beat you out for it, and it's not a really good hitbox. And meanwhile, like up B is like just as bad, if not worse, range than uh, Mac up B. So, oh, there's that there off stage off the double jump, and you know he uses double jump off stage and just barely manages to air dodge back to the ledge. There's the Nair to catch the landing, and the other Nair, but no, he just manages to air bounce past them, but no, this should be death. No. There we go, yep. Oh no, he saved his double jump! He saved his double jump and was able to make it back. But <laughs> saving your double jump doesn't matter if you just get Nair like that. Ooh, try going for that end. Uh, up smash to just finish off the combo, you know, but he's going to tech in and uh, manage to avoid all that damage. Ooh, reading the roll on the up, on the inside there, but not going to be able to find it. Uh, lands with the down B and, you know, manages to find the kill for that, too. So really good landing option for him if he managed to uh, actually get that down B. Ooh, there's the punish, and there's the tech roll and read. No, he was right in front of him. I'm sorry, perhaps he didn't go for a jab for the down, uh, for the the jab block, but trying going for the upbeat for the the punish, but no, not gonna find his mark, and he's gonna get a combo off of it with the pill and back throw. Yet again, oh, not quite gonna be able to get there in time. So yet again, both players are playing this like super well spaced out. And, you know, I Palutena with a little bit better. Uh, Aggressive options, you know, he can definitely keep Dr. Mario in the air better. You know, that Nair is such long lasting that I can beat out a lot of air dodges. So, here you go. Here's the Nair training again. But no, the Nair was able to just break through it in time and gets a trade for it. You know, I'm trying to read the, the get up option. And here we go. Just a neutral B, but that's going to be too close on the shield, and he's going to get yeeted for it. Here's the edge guard. And, you know, opting to just let Palutena get back on the stage for that. And here we go, just a nair off of the grab or off the jump roll. Yet again, another E, and yet again, that E will be the stock. So here we go. You know what, Doctor Mario putting in work. He's more so than making up. Oh, I kind of wanted to see a fair right there, just at the end. go there's the fair then no I like that using the explosive flame because if he didn't jump over it he would have been hit by it and that would have put him in such a bad spot oh no punish on the uh, the width up B I feel like that would have been a free down smash and that would have been the game but I mean the back air off stage will finish off the the, the, the game right there Here we go, game two. No, the counter picks. I'm not sure what counter picks you would want to take Palutena to. Probably, yeah, Yoshi's is a good counter pick. You know, the ledges on the platform will kind of make her her teleport cancels a little bit wonky. You know, and he's thinking about the you no know, going sticking with the Dr. Mario. You know, it did it did really well. So I, I could see the Dr. Mario like pulling it out if he manages to like not get edge guarded. And yet again, just choosing just to sit back here with auto reticles. But manages to just run up slowly and get a grab. Dash attack and then here's the Nair and uses his double jump and good on him to wait for the air dodge in. Ooh. He tried going for a raw bear, but unfortunately not turning around in time, so he did not get the, the backwards hit a bit. 
Wow, that had, like no end lag on it. Down throw up be nearly kill Palutena at like 80. Ooh, but that that roll past the jab and he's gonna get punished with that with an up smash. No, it doesn't matter which Mario you play though, that up smash is super strong. Ooh, punishes the, the regular get up. And there's another in there off stage. Finally reads the roll in, you know. Oh, that was so good. He used the wall drum to kind of uh, mix up his recovery going back in, you know, making it less predictable on when he was going to grab the ledge. But it doesn't matter when you roll in and just get back thrown off stage again. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times you can get back to the ledge. If you can't take back center stage, like you're just going to get thrown right back off of it. go fair to dash attack and reading the roll in oh trying going for the up air but not gonna be able to get it but the last hit in there will you know Paladina is just putting so much pressure on the Dr. Mario you know it's hard for him to approach Ooh, but that was a super bold option right there not getting the sweet spot on the up B so he's not gonna be able to do max damage on that but here's the back throw gets the down tilt to forward air oh gets an air off stage and bear, and that will be the stock, you know. I feel like he air dodged uh, a little bit too preemptively there. You know, that's kind of like Dr. Mario's bread and butter, but he gets the, the neutral get up read in, with the up B. Down throw fair to dash attack. There's the bear. Did he use his double jump? He did not, but it doesn't matter if you don't go off stage to challenge it. Ooh. Yet again, Dr. Mario is just trying to find his way in back onto center stage. You know, when Palutena has, has you on ledge like that, it's just so hard to get in sometimes. Ooh, here's the up air. Not going to be able to quite get in in time before the punish, but he will be able to punish that. Oh, you saw him, like, wait for the, the roll option. He wanted something. Gets the fair off stage. And just opting to let Mario just come back on the free and just sticking with the bread and butter, you know, like ledge trap options. Like, doesn't matter what you pick, if you pick jump, if you pick no one will get up, if you pick roll, I'm going to punish all of that and get you back off stage. You know what? But now that Mario has center stage, it doesn't matter because he just throws it all the way when he gets grabbed like that. And there we go. That is a quick 2-0 for Scoop Dog.